Hi guys, I just wanted to do another review for you. Um, well not a review, more like a haul type thing. Uh, I got all these things from Walmart, so it was pretty cheap. I think it's cheap. Most of the stuff I got was more cheaper at Walmart than it was at Ulta um, when I looked at the same things. Um, my first thing I want to start off with is this. Um, it's the Onyx Nail Professional Nail Polish Remover. Um, apparently it's strawberry scented, so I'm excited for that. Um, I haven't tried it out yet, but... Um, once I do another nail tutorial, I'm sure I could just do a quick review on how this works. I'm pretty excited for it though. <laughs> Cause I remember I used a strawberry smell or a scented nail polish remover before when I was in Korea, like I wanna say like six, seven years back when I was visiting. And like right after the acetone smell or the nail polish remover smell is gone, like it smells pretty good. Not that you should sniff it or anything. Um, I also got the Rimmel Sexy Curves Mascara. Um, usually I like to buy the waterproof kind because it just stays on longer, holds the curl better. Um, and yeah, it just has a good staying power for the curl. But I wanted something that would come off easily with just water and, you know, like face wash or whatever. Um, because my CoverGirl Lash Blast in the waterproof, it doesn't come off. Like, even with makeup remover, you, like, really need to, like, let it sit and then it'll come off. But I wanted to try this out. I actually have it on my lashes now. Um, I think I've only had it on for, like, two hours, but I like it so far. Um, and you know how, like, the telescopic ones or the... Givenchy, or however you pronounce it. it, has like the little ball with like the spikes coming out. Um, I realized like this looks like the wand looks like that. So basically, you could do the same thing with the tip because it's like a little ball. I don't know, but that's how the wand looks. I'm like, I, I kind of like that because like it finds all my little eyelash hairs that need to grow. Uh, next, I also got this at Walmart. Um, this is from, this is the NYC bronzer. I think it was only like $2.50 or something. Looks like that. It comes off lighter on the screen. Sorry, I don't know why. Um, this is in 720A Sunny. Um, I tried it on. You can't really tell from my webcam. I didn't feel like taking out my other camera that I usually record with because I had to recharge the battery and that would just take like two hours but I tried it on today and I like it um it's a matte finish I don't like the sh um the shimmery finishes because like especially if you have oily skin like I get oilier skin especially now because I'm in Alabama um it just makes you look too shiny and also if you have like scars, like acne scars, or just pimples or whatever, I feel like it holds onto those areas better, or like accumulates in those areas, and like, it just, um, amplifies your imperfections. Um, I know for some people it looks good, but I just prefer matte bronzer. So I got this, and I also wanted to try this out. I know, like, there's like this whole hype about Latisse, Revitalash, all that stuff, but, um, I just saw this at the store. It's the, what is it, L'Oreal Lash Boosting Serum. I just got this one. I know there's a pack that comes with the Lash, lash Boosting Serum and then the Lash Boosting Mascara. They come in a pack. I think it was $20 at Walmart. Um, but I just wanted to get this one. It was like 9 something. Um, I haven't tried it out yet, so once I try it out, I'll let you guys know how it's working. I'm sure it'll probably take, like, weeks <laughs> for anything to show. But I just wanted to try out a cheaper alternative to Latisse and all that stuff that you need to get um, a prescription for. Um, and my last thing that I'm really excited about is my EOS lip balm. 
I got it in summer fruit and I've been using it all day. It smells um, if you're Korean, you'll know what I'm talking about, and if you're Asian, maybe too. But, Chaduma, it's like a plum-flavored candy, um, but it's really sweet and has that really summery, very sweet fruit candy scent to it, and I love it. Um, I was debating whether or not to get the Honeydew Melon or this one, but I'm really glad I got this one. This I bought at Ulta for $3.29 or, or like right around there. Um, I'm glad I got it though. And like, I don't know, it's just fun. I love the packaging. Um, oh, not last thing. This is another thing. This is a little older. Um, it's the Physician's Formula Shimmer, Shimmer Strips Custom Eye Enhancing Gel Cream Liner for Brown Eyes. It comes with the brown gel eyeliner, the purple one, and also the black one, and it has like little purple sparkles. Purple? What, what did I just say? <laughs> like, you probably can't tell from what I'm showing you, but it has little purple sparkles in there. Um, I've been using it for like a few weeks, and honestly, I think it's okay. Um, I liked my L'Oreal Hip Black Eyeliner better, but it dried out. I've had it for so long and I couldn't use all that product up that quick. Um, this I like to use for like my bottom lash line because usually I don't like a harsh line on, on the bottom. I like to like smudge it out a little so it's good for that. Or um, I like it to use it as like a base. Um, I know for my last video, not last video, for, but for my Bola video I used it as a base. Um, the black one. But, I mean, it's okay. The reason I don't like it 100% is because it's not very, like, it's really creamy, which is good, but it's, like, a bit too creamy. Like, if you put it on with a brush and then you, like, try to fix up the shape and stuff, I feel like some of it, the product that you applied, wipes off. So I guess if you, like, apply it and then let it, like, dry and then pat over it, um, I tried that and that was okay, but it's just not as intense as I would like the color to be. Um, but yeah, that's my little mini haul, I guess, for you guys. Oh, I also got this headband and this one. I think I wore this in my um, contact lens, the pink Max Pure lens video. I've got both of these from Forever 21 and I think this was 580 and this was 4 or something but this one has like a band on it so it's one of those stretchy ones but yeah. Um, if you guys have any questions or suggestions, requests or whatever just comment below and I will see you next time. Bye!